Now, my name is Bill Spur, and I'm the Chair of Education Adelaide, and welcome to this very special evening. But a particular welcome, a very special welcome, to the Honourable Minister for Higher Education and Further Education, the Honourable Gail Gay Guy. So, thank you for this opportunity. is on a very tight time frame, so can only be here for a short while, but she wants to meet as many people as possible. Um, so why are we all here? Firstly, it's to celebrate the Chinese Mid-Autumn Festival, and congratulations to all the people that were involved last night in that wonderful show at the Town Hall. Fantastic effort, and I know uh, some of you are here. recognise the, the great work done by the Stem Cell Foundation and all the supporters of that. And thirdly, we want to welcome as many uh, as we can of the NIT students that are down from Beijing studying here. Where are they all? <laughs> A very particular welcome to you as well. Um, now, first of all, I just want to briefly talk about Stem Cell Foundation. It's taken me a long time to understand what stem cell is all about. <laughs> uh, but it's the science, technology, engineering, maths, social enterprise, learning. I particularly, and we as a group, study Adelaide, and where's Karen? Karen's the chief executive uh, of uh, Study Adelaide. But we particularly want to acknowledge tonight Penn. Oh. Where's Peng? Peng, yeah. stand up, Peng. Uh, STEM Cell is all about linking technology with social enterprise uh, learning. It's giving the opportunity for the very bright young people, all of you that are in this room, from schools and universities to develop and innovate technology-based solutions to provide a better social and economically developed world. STEM Cell is about offering internships, mentoring young students in electronics and robotics through workshops and where's Miro? Oh, here he is, doing his job. Uh, and what a great support Miro is. STEM Cell gives students the ideal environment to increase their confidence, and I've seen that with a lot of you here tonight, increase your networks, increase your business communications, and increase your employability skills. What STEM Cell does, it gives you the opportunity to change the world. And Peng is just an absolutely committed person to be involved with this. It was his initiation, and what a wonderful chap Peng, you are to do this. Plus everybody else. So through uh, Peng's program, you've got students, both local and international. You got them from primary schools and secondary schools and universities. You've got people involved in STEM cells from Australia and Malaysia and Vietnam and Indonesia and India, Uganda, Costa Rica, Afghanistan. And they're all working together, integrating with the local community and connecting many of the families. And I've met quite a few of the families as well, and I think that's great that they're involved and wider community groups. As Peng said, he gets great support for this from all of you in the room. And people like Miro and Kevin up there, up there, and Jeff Farm, I can see. Where's Jeff over here doing photo photographs as normal? Uh, I've got to mention George Chin. George is on the Study Adelaide board, absolute committed person to promoting the link with particularly students in the community and in his role as president of uh, Chinatown as well. Um, Graham Brennan, where's Graham over here from the Royal Agricultural and Horticultural Society? And uh, Barry Greer over here. Barry uh, was a former boss of mine uh, many years ago. But Barry uh, has been, and quite recently, was the world president of the Institute of Engineers. And you can't do any better than that, Barry. So. And uh, you like Fernando? Where's Fernando? Up the back there from the... Uh, 
from the RAAF, um, and you know, great supporters in the community like Claudia over here, and uh, never likes to be recognised, but is always working <laughs> very hard. Uh, I could go on and on with the great support, uh, but there's one other lady sits right there on table four. Uh, <laughs> should be on table one, of course is Lena, who uh, nothing would happen without Lena, which is Peg's wife. So, uh, but could I say, uh, could I say to Peg and all of you, congratulations on what you're doing, particularly uh, what you're doing with technology and uh, with social learning and improving the, our world. Uh, not only here, but across the rest of the world, and so many connections. Um, I saw someone had a book. Where's that book? No, I'll just I'll just mention uh, for people that want a great read. Uh, this lady, some of you have met. She was here at the show as a judge. Um, uh, Kando is her name, um, and she's uh, from Zambia originally. I think I've got that right, but um, um, Karen and I had the privilege of meeting her, uh, she lives in Victoria now, but I went home, and I'm not a great reader of books, but I read it that night, I was absolutely inspired by it, so uh, try to get a copy of this book, it's just great reading about how individuals, like each and every one of you, can change the world. Now my excellent to ask the Minister. To, uh, to say a few words. Thank you very much, Bill. Uh, and thank you all so much for your very generous invitation to join you here this evening. Unfortunately, um, I'm not able to stay for very long. It's a parliamentary sitting week this week, uh, so it's um, uh, um, very busy um, back-to-back appointments, but um, I, I do very much appreciate the opportunity to at least uh, meet with you here briefly uh, and the opportunity to address you. Um, and um, uh, particularly to celebrate this wonderful occasion, the Chinese Mid-Autumn Festival. Uh, so I'm not sure if you're a particular greeting or a particular... <laughs> 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 no, 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 what do you want to say I just wanted to, to particularly welcome uh, our international students. Um, you are very important uh, here in South Australia. We very much value uh, your presence here and your activity here. Uh, uh, particularly, look, it's a very uh, inter our international students market is a very, very strong economic driver for this state, which obviously we thank you very much. But also, from a, so a social and cultural level, um, you you bring an enormous uh, amount of cultural and social diversity. Uh, and uh, I think, uh, particularly, our, the international student population here in in Adelaide has. Uh, transformed Adelaide as a city into a vibrant, dynamic, multicultural place to be. Uh, and and uh, your presence and activity here uh, helps bring life, breathe life into our city. So um, uh, I, we thank, I thank you very much uh, for that. The, I also want to thank the, uh, those business and other community members that are, are joining us here this evening. Uh, we really value your um, partnership uh, and uh, our relationship with you. Uh, I think international students choose to come to South Australia for a number of reasons. One is the quality of the ed education that we provide here, um, but uh, also the quality of the uh, life experience or the community uh, engagement uh, is also really important and uh, you help um, um, create that. Thirdly, and very importantly, it's that value-adding. Students now want uh, not just uh, to leave with a qualification, they want to have an opportunity to engage with and develop networks into our, our business and industry uh, networks. So that relationship uh, with, with business and industry is critical for helping um, uh, 
students, uh, our international students that build uh, that part um, of their um, journey here, or their preference for uh, choosing Adelaide. Um, so we, we value that very much. And on behalf of the South Australian Government, I want to particularly acknowledge the um, incredibly valuable work that stem cell uh, provides uh, here in South Australia. Um, it, the, the work that it does to help integrate international students into our local community and <coughs> into our business and industry networks is invaluable. Uh, and your, your passion and commitment and drive uh, in that area is, is of tremendous value to us, so I wanted to recognise that. I also particularly want to recognise and acknowledge the great work that Education Adelaide... Do we still call it Education Adelaide? Yeah. <laughs> I've been changing the name of it. Some, some people, uh, I think most people in the room would know us as Study Adelaide. That's study yeah. Adelaide. That their work uh, to attract uh, more international students uh, to South Australia is incredibly valuable to us as well. And of course, you can help us in that mission to attract more students here. Um, by, uh, by sharing your positive experiences through your social and other networks uh, and encouraging um, others uh, to, to come and um, uh, enjoy uh, an, an experience, a studying experience here in Adelaide. So I encourage you to, to, uh, to get online and, uh, and share that uh, with your friends and family. The... Um, uh, the I'm off to China again very soon. I think it'll be about my fourth visit there in a fairly short period of time. Um, uh, and I know that we've got uh, students here that aren't just from China, but Ch the Chinese, um, uh, our relationship uh, and uh, partnership with China is uh, very important to us. I'll be uh, visiting um, Jingdao, uh, particularly to launch a new program there that is about uh, engaging uh, more students from that region uh, to come and visit and study here. So I'm looking forward to doing that. And I'm hoping also to, to do a quick trip to Beijing and to, um, if I can, uh, 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 visit NIT. So I think uh, <laughs> uh, 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 we're trying to make sure that it happens, but that it's not confirmed yet, but it's something that I really value and am working very hard uh, so I'm very much looking forward uh, to visiting NIT, hopefully. Um, uh, I think we've got some very important awards to give out, which I'm, um, I believe I've um, yes. assisted. No, you're going to, uh, to present them. So oh, 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 this oh, time, oh, uh, and out of the way. Uh, um, uh, just to, uh, just to, to conclude, I hope you very much enjoy um, your, your studies here in Adelaide. And I hope that your studies are successful and that you have a lot of fun as well. And uh, I'm, please enjoy the rest of this evening. We would like to ask her to present some very special awards tonight. Uh, they're called the Study Adelaide Student Engagement Awards. Uh, and it's to some very outstanding young individuals who are all about making this world a better place by connecting people across the world who can really make a difference. So we'd like to start by presenting just a selected few. Uh, there's others that are doing great jobs as well, but on this particular night, a, a selected few. So... Yeah, I, have, I haven't actually got... I, I think I know who they all are. <laughs> I, but the first person is Calvin. Where's Calvin? Calvin.
person is Hugh. Hugh has um, just been awarded a scholarship to uh, study and promote in Hong Kong uh, under the federal government's new initiative, so uh, that's great news as well. Thank you. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you. 